Hello, Mike Rizzuto here. Uh, welcome back to our MastermindInc.net YouTube channel. We have the 57 through 60 Cadillacs of the star of the show. Uh, today, for your amusement, we have uh, part number 57EB12008. These are the 5758 Eldorado Brome Fender Edge Seals. They only fit a Brome, and we've been out of stock on these for a good six, seven years, I would think. Um, these are extremely accurate reproductions, and they fit on each uh, of the fenders, one left and one right. This is the right side. And uh, uh, the, um, the objective here was to seal against the hood when you close the hood. So you'll notice they're, you know, they're made with a nice soft curve where when you close the hood, they seal against the hood. The idea here was to keep the water away from the electrical relays uh, in the engine compartment, if you, you know, probably, as you know, you probably have, you have relays on both sides of the engine compartment uh, for all the electrical gadgets in the car, uh, which are many. And the last thing you need is uh, uh, more water attacking those because that's where quite a lot of the problems come, come up. So this was intended to keep those dry, relatively dry from uh, moisture and such. So. Um, and it also reduces engine noise. You'll you notice when you put these in and close the hood, it seals the noise into the engine compartment. So uh, these are uh, far superior to the factory parts, you know, except, I mean, they're exact replicas, except that the this quality, the fit, and the, the attention to detail is much greater. So uh, if you have the factory ones, very few people do, but uh, 30 years of specializing in his cars, I've never seen a, a Brome that doesn't need these parts because uh, the factory ones were, you know, they deteriorate even if you have them. And most of them fell off the car decades ago. Uh, and they're, you know, in horrible shape or whatever. But, uh, you know, uh, you rarely see the original ones. And if you, do, if you did see the original ones, you, uh, they look like trash compared to these. So, uh, because these are much, much more well made. Uh, in terms of the way they fit and the way they're notched to fit around all the uh, brackets and stuff. Um, if you do have anything at all in that area, uh, you might have this. And this is something that, uh, uh, it's a very low quality reproduction that's been sold uh, for the past 30 years by the company whose uh, name can be confused with a uh, ferrous metal. Um, these are really useless because you can you can't keep, can't get them to stay on the car. They don't seal right because they're not the right shape. And uh, if you put them on the car, every time you close the hood, they fall off the car. And so some people try to glue them on the car. So you might have these hokey things glued on your fenders and wonder what that's all about. Uh, but you know, you can see that these are really, really poor quality and uh, they're useless. Uh, so um, by sharp contrast, ours are the correct exact profile, um, you know, and they fit perfectly in every way. So uh, uh, they were all pre-notched, you know, and uh, they fit right, they'll fit perfectly on your car right out of the box, which is a huge time saver because if you try to notch something like this, or if you see the way the factory ones were done, they were, they were an absolute abortion. Um, they just butchered them mercilessly trying, I mean, you have, we have special setups that we made to do this. If you try to do this uh, yourself with something like that, you know, it would be butchered to death. Um, and, and it still wouldn't fit right. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. Uh, so, uh, you know, I know most car, most old car owners are not accustomed to buying rubber parts that actually fit right. Uh, what a concept, right? Um, but I'm uh, very uh, uh, adamant about this for my own cars. I can't live something like this. You know, if you sent it to me, I would be annoyed. If I got it for free, I'd be annoyed that I'd have to take it over to the trash can. So, um, it, you know, I'd rather have nothing on the fenders than that, because I know they, you know, they've done something to make it a little bit different now. But this is still totally wrong. And uh, but after 30 years of selling this to people. You know, it's unconscionable to, to be selling something that doesn't fit, I think. I don't mind paying the money for a good part, but I never get a good part, it seems like, from anybody, you know, when I buy rubber stuff. So uh, I just make the stuff myself. So that's, you know, a lot of people think that we buy all this rubber stuff that everybody else sells, 
and we do the same thing that all the other car, you know, Cadillac people do, buy stuff from the other vendors and resell it to you. That's not what we do because I find that nine out of 10 things I buy from those vendors doesn't fit right and uh, gets me really aggravated. So when you buy rubber stuff from us, it's typically our own products and they're made to fit. Uh, so after many years of uh, not having these things, we have a limited supply. Uh, as you know, I make things like this in limited runs because I'm only one guy. And then there's a long time drought in between. Uh, and now that I'm thinking of retiring, I would say uh, this is last call uh, on these. So if you're going to need these at any time in the near future, now's the time. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thanks again for your interest in our products. It's always greatly appreciated.